My okay, guys, so we're back with Crash. She's very, very excited. She's running away. Uh, and I'll tell you what is different because I moved one of the climbs out there. The platform is a little bit different and I've only got two of the footstools, but I think she can figure it out. Um, just because she does understand the platform is sometimes different. So I just, Nachos chewed up the pink hat. So that hat I'm going to replace with this other pink hat. I'm going to put the pink hat up here. And then I've got this other little hat thing. This was her little hat from when she was a puppy. I never put it on her though. Oh, how cute is it? It might still fit her. It will fit Molly at least. Oh, I'm putting it on Molly, Sophia. Yeah, this is what I do though. I buy all this stuff. It's supposed to be like an aviator thing. Then I've got this hat. I've got the sport dog. Uh, I've got sunglasses. The keys, just a bunch of different things. So I'm just going to try to use that somewhat as a, I could try putting something in the house. I think if she ever looked in there one time, she kind of needs to go off though, because she's kind of right there. She kind of takes away from this. You need to run away now, Crash. I can do a little obedience first, because again, she's got the behavior of Absolutely awful. Hello, Susan. All right, so remember, Crash did have obedience before. She used to do a lot of her obedience. Oh, she used to do it all the time. That was the only thing she did before. You know, that was all she had until she evolved. she defaults to the down. Ah, oh, hang on. Oh no, she spends an hour a day while I'm on the elliptical performing. It's exhausting. Instead of just doing the elliptical, I have to do the elliptical and train her too. All right, so she knows how to heal. You know, and it just shows, how else can I really, what better way could you communicate to her those turns? She's got the exact turns like the other dog. She turns away, and you can just, it totally bending her. It's, you know, that's physics. It bends her. And then she turns this way, and so I'm just tapping the pager right there, and then she goes back, same thing, just clicking it, and then she gets on the platform. You know, so you're not going to keep hitting, con you know, the other thing about the pager is you can hit it a lot more, so you get better. You're not going to keep hitting the constant as much as you're hitting this thing. Oh, so look, so get her going. She turns. And she learned all this when she's up. She turns, and I'm just adding the pager right there on the turn. It's bending her, watch. All right, so if she would just get distracted, we could go put some of this stuff. She's just going to start looking around. I am going to try putting something in the, uh, okay, she's over there. I can sneak the stuff over here real quick. Oh, well, we maybe don't want that much. We don't have too much time. So let's run through all the training dogs. Look, I'll put these little keys in here since she's so fond of them. Get my DNA on them. I'll put them right by the edge, though. The cards, the wooden thing, and I'll put the dumbbell. Okay. I didn't put everything. We don't have oh, look, that's the new hat. Oh, crash. You little monkey. So she does give me a little leeway. She's learned to be patient. She understands I'm a turtle. I think that's what she pictures me as. Oh, she sleeps in the bed now. Oh, she's a cuddle bug. 
I never dreamed she'd be so, but I'll tell you what she did. She got the roll, she went in the bathroom, she got up out of the bed. She went in the bathroom, got the roll of toilet paper. I need to do a slow-mo of what happens if Crash gets a hold of a roll of toilet paper or a paper towel roll. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna go get one of those big, big, I'm gonna wait till JC's here, he'll have to clean it up. Uh, but it's, it's honestly unbelievable. She just, it just explodes it. She explodes it. So I could, you, if you said, well, how could you start? I could start incorporating the pager in more. But the best way for a dog to get around, trained around here is somebody to give me a bunch of money. <laughs> but no, again, I just do this as my hobby. I think she smelled those keys. I really do. Oh, she loves the dumbbells. No, but if you said, okay, well, give me the specs of how you would add the pager to your retrieve, you would add it at that point down there for your recall with no objects or anything. You would just have already done that, and then you would add it there, because I've got plenty of them that their cue to pick it up is that, oh, she just threw that down. Oh, she's very picky about what she will and will not get in what order. She knows I'm slow. She's willing to wait, but she's... She smelled those keys is what it was. She just doesn't know. She's making a nice line back to me, don't you think? I think this is a better trajectory for her. Oh, I knew she'd get that hat before she got that collar. But I mean, the fact that these hats are surviving, it fell on top of uh, Nacho's cage though, and he pulled it in there. I think it would be interesting. This is what I might do. Or this would be a kind of an interesting thing. Um, if you did the platforms, but you put a collar like around on somehow so that when you vibrated the collar, like the little footstool would kind of vibrate. All right, so, oh, Crash, you are awful. Oh, you are absolutely awful. She thinks that thing needs to get double payment. Oh, Crash, you're awful. I, I can do the guarding behavior, though, and keep her away. There's actually a little tag over there, too. If I had to guess, she'll get that little paper tag. But she smelled those keys. The tag is sticking to her foot. Yep, she found the keys. You would have to, Christopher, I don't know if you're there, but you know about dogs finding them. I don't, I've never seen a dog that attracted to keys. I always thought it was kind of like hard to get them to do that. Not this dog. All right, so there's still the sunglasses, and she might get that little tag. She doesn't like those glasses, though. She'll bring them, though. Because I'll tell you what happened. I woke up this morning. I heard a crunching sound. I realized that Crash had gotten the last pair of glasses, those ones I had on yesterday, and she had them in bed. I mean, she was just doing like that. She was just throwing them in her mouth. So I'm like, oh, thank God. I saved my glasses. I grabbed the glasses. I jumped out of bed. She might find that little tag. And I um, went outside everything. It came back in. The glasses were back on the bed all chewed up. gonna think about that hat in a minute. And I'm using the fresh pet today. I could probably I could try looking at the hat. I could try the hand pointing thing. She always kinda has a pause and then she she goes. She went the wrong way, but she's gonna come back with something. If you said, what does she smell? I think she's gonna find that little tag over there. She'll keep looking. She'll find anything. I have to give them treats for everything. They'll find a small little piece. She's, get, she's on the hat. Get ready, hang on, you guys might be. You might be taking a tumble here in a second. She's stepping around. She bumped into the garage. Hang on. She's 
she smells it. Try the send away thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut out the, I don't know if you saw the psychic recall on shoe bottom yesterday. I'm gonna go get that and edit that out. I want you guys to understand, I could easily, just as easily say psychic recall and the thing could do nothing, but it doesn't. That's the crazy part. And shoe bottom, if you said how much of a behavior of running to you does she have? Not as much as she has of running after bugs and squirrels and everything else, just because they have more time to be chased than I do, <laughs> you know. She's looking for, she's probably gonna try it. I'm honestly surprised that she doesn't try because if my phone is on the counter plugged in, she'll jump up, jerk it out of the wall and bring it to me happy as she can be. Oh look, she's, this, this is what she does. She's getting the remote. I have got to pay for this. I've got to pay for this shit. I've got to pay for stuff that's around my neck. That's, that's how I live. Watch. She'll see it's on my neck and she'll give it to me. No, she'll pull it. She'll pull it and strangle me. I can try seeing if I can get her to get that little tag. I think it was the tag off the hat or something. She'll get stuff like that. It's that's the crazy part. Yeah, she was right on top of it. She's looking for something better though. If she can't find anything better, she'll get it. seem like she sent away though. She's looking very, very thoroughly. I think I could get where I could put something in the back of that doghouse. I think she would go in there. She's right on top of it. There, yep, there she got it. <laughs> Crash, I honestly, I, I can tell all, I've never loved a dog more than I love this dog. And because it's so worthy of it, I think. It's so worthy of it. She's so worthy of it. Crash, you're awful, even though you're awful. You're absolutely awful, Crash. Yeah, I was so proud of her. She didn't chew the glasses up. And then when I went back in later, oh, she, I'll tell you what, she likes that hat. She does have things that are her favorite. Like yeah, you said, you could teach her to play tug of war. Oh, I don't doubt that. I don't doubt that. And I could stand out here making videos for you guys of me playing tug of war with this little dog and you'd be bored to tears. I mean, come on. You never know. You might lose the li the t the label, the tag on your clothing, and you may need cash to find it. I will be able to come to your house. We charge by the hour, and there is a four, five, six hour minimum because, well, she is blind and deaf. It's gonna take her a while. <laughs> All right, you guys. I will be right back. I'm gonna run through. Uh, I'm gonna go get Casper, the little, the little puppy genius. But yeah, is that is that? I don't know if you're still there, Mike, but. You know, that's, that any dog would get that little piece of paper like that. I don't know. I mean, and I, 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 after today, feel like she was looking at my hands. That she was going where I was pointing her. Do you think? I mean, it's, she wants to do it. It's just, I, it's hard for me to understand exactly what her motivation is. Well, she'll keep looking, though. I can try putting the keys. That, I, I think... You know, because remember before, I said when I put the hat there, 
though she would start looking for the hat. So now she does think of that as some place. I don't know why she likes those keys. That's what gets me. And she's definitely doing a better job sniffing than she used to. I love you, Crash. Now, if the dog was just blind, I could say, well, here's the thing's clinking. It's, it knows what you wanted to do based on some kind of sound or something. It's very crazy. I understand that there was a reason that Nina and Tony and all these people came into my life. It was this old dog. It was all in the stars because it did alter my perspective, it, uh, drastically, drastically. All right, you guys, I'll be right back with Casper. Oh, she's gonna wait for me. She's absolutely precious.